It's your boy Shane, cuz I am your favorite Nevada, it's favorite Nevada thugging it everywhere. Don't believe me? Ask that bitch nigga about me. You did? Alright. Let me start off with, with the Drake Kendrick schoolboy Q situation. Now, I know Kendrick is no longer with TDE, but why schoolboy Q wasn't out there? Why J Rock wasn't out there at this Not Like Us pop out? Like, is the issue between the record label, you and the record label, or you, the record label, and the artist? Like, although y'all, you left the record label, you should still have histories with your former label mates, you know what I mean? Like, very disappointed that those iconic members from TDE wasn't there. Now, Drake. Drake supposedly had Schoolboy Q uh, canceled the show canceling Canada now shame on Drake for that at right, one Kendrick is no longer even down with the record label so why are you stopping another man's money like which brings us to the to the big Sean Kanye situation like if Kanye actually dropped big Sean music shame on him for that because what you're doing is stopping another young black man from feeding his family from taking care of responsibilities and his obligations like I think we're the only genre of music to attack one another and try to stop somebody's cash flow we're the only genre of music where one artist kills another artist and that happens on a regular like when are we gonna stop this toxic vicious cycle like aren't y'all millionaires Kanye aren't you a billionaire so you, why 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 are you even leaking your artist's music, which is fucking with his finances? Like, you should know how it feels to be an artist on, on the record label, just working your way up. Like, when you were at Rockefeller, you wasn't the top of the totem pole. You had to work your way up. Shout out to Dane Dash for opening a lot of doors for these motherfuckers. It was like keeping on wax, but like don't tell people not to do business with another individual. Like let's keep the the, the sport friendly, my nigga. Like we get it, you so called at beef at war. But keep the shit political. Keep the shit entertainment. And when we see shit like that, we're like, oh yeah, he a buster, he a sucker. Like, how do y'all niggas sleep at night like this, my nigga? Like, this shit crazy. Shout out to Schoolboy Q though. For keeping that shit cool, calm, collective. You know, he he was really upset about the situation. He was like, Drake about to get a whole band from California. Like. Right. Like Smack said, Schoolboy Q don't be fucking with nobody. You don't be seeing him with no online beefing, rap battle, this and that. Nah. That boy just, just perform his craft, does his art, make his money and go. Man. Disappointed Drake, disappointed Kanye, and definitely disappointed Kendrick Lamar. My personal opinion. What y'all think? If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. Follow me on Instagram, The Revolution and Cuss Show. That's also my Facebook fan page. All the information should be in the detail in the description box below. Till next time, smoke for you, boy. Triples.